Marcus Conti reporting on a breaking story. Is it okay to be white? Have you heard about this? Is it okay to be white breaking across the country on college campuses? Three in particular. The first one is uh, Tennessee, somewhere out in Tennessee, and Oklahoma, and up in Danbury, Connecticut. There are three open investigations into a piece of paper that said this. said, it's okay to be white. Have you heard? Uh, so this video, what I did was I called all three of these places. I called all three universities. You're going to love it, man. I talked to, I talked to the important people. Uh, you know, hindsight is 2020. I felt like I could have asked some better questions and, and comments and such. But the whole video uh, is a lot of it is, is uh, really quality stuff. Listen to it all the way to the end. But I'll tell you what you're going to hear first. So, so uh, the breaking story, right? Is it okay to be white signs placed on East Tennessee State University campus? It's okay to be white flyers were placed throughout East Tennessee State University campus, including to cover a memorial for school's first African-American students. Uh, so President Brian Nolan moved quickly on Saturday to denounce the flyers and called it an attack on the campus and its values. Monday, Nolan said in a statement that the campus staff acted quickly to remove the flyers. So they're treating this sign, this sign, as a criminal violation of what? What does it violate? It's not a violation of the, we have a First Amendment right, right? We have a First Amendment right to freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom to express oneself, especially especially on a college campus, right? You would think, right? College campus? Not so. So the school is one of the one of several throughout the nations uh, where groups have recently emailed or posted flyers with the slogan, which is used among racist groups. Incidences were reported in California, Connecticut, and Oklahoma. All right, so here's the sign, right? So this is the sign. You see it. It's okay to be white. It was stuck on the side of a Coke machine. It's okay to be white. Mine's a little different. My sign's a little different, but uh, but uh, nonetheless, you get the point. It's okay to be white signs. It was found last uh, year. Oh, this is last year at a Florida Gulf University. All right, whatever. The campus targeted, the campaigns targeted 216 college campuses from Ivy League schools to local community colleges in 44 states. Several of them used the phrase, it's okay to be white, in their flyers, according to the study. All right, so... What is the fucking crime here? What is the, the giant violation? Where, where did this happen? Uh, so here's, here's uh, more. Report, report it's okay to be white posters placed on college campuses in Tennessee school, Eastern uh, Tennessee State University. So I spoke to them, and you're going to hear that recording. Um, I don't know. It just, what is it? I, I mean, I think you know my opinion. My opinion is it's okay to put up a sign representing whatever you are why is it not okay to be white is is the pressing point in this country according to information provided to and gathered by fox 17 news the timing was not coincidence the posters were placed on the social network gab which campaigns itself as a network for free speech there's nothing there's nothing solid about any of these allegations Here's the uh, people that I contacted in East Tennessee. This is the Oklahoma City um, School of Law. Oklahoma City School of Law. These chicks reported on it. Maki and Daisy, common sense cast. Oklahoma City Police investigate it's okay to be white flyers as potential hate crime. <laughs> so that's the original one. It's okay to be... Uh, it's okay to be white. See, there this is the same sign. They seem to be using the same. It's okay to be white, all caps. Right? It seems to be consistent with the other one. But so what? You know, who cares, right? So uh, this was at a law school. Ooh, how lawyerly. 
It is okay to be white. Several recent incidences called the sentiment into question. Police believe they have the identity and perpetrator behind a potential hate crime at Oklahoma City University School of Law. The individual who posted the flyers that read, quote, it's okay to be white, is under fire. Under fire, although authorities acknowledged that the flyers were not believed to be a threat. And that posting them wasn't a crime because no property was damaged. The individual responsible is under investigation anyway. That's right. So police search for the person who left flyers at OCU. Again, I spoke to somebody over there. Police are trying to identify a person who posted flyers saying it's okay to be white, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's a video. Uh, where's this? This was in Massachusetts, so it seems to be breaking out everywhere. Watch a short video. I don't think I saw this. It's Pike and Newton causing some controversy. It reads, it's okay to be white. Our cameras were there when a man ripped that sign down. 7 Steve Cooper is live in Newton with a story you'll only see on 7. Right, so the sign is down this afternoon, but not before it was seen by so many commuters out here on the Mass Pike earlier today, and it led one man who was on the pike with his daughter to pull over and take the sign down. And they purposely choose the Mass Pike to uh, draw attention uh, to people who are... The media is almost obligated to, to report it political correctness. Political correctness, of course, white people. White people have all the privilege. How could they possibly be discriminated against? It's okay to be white? No, it's not okay to be white. Why? Because you have all the privilege. That's the message. Driving and, 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 and get, attract attention to themselves. A large banner with the words, it's okay to be white, hanging over the Mass Pike in Newton for many to see during the morning commute. The head of the Anti-Defamation League of New England not wasting any time in speaking out. It's, it's pretty disappointing to see people in, in Massachusetts uh, Using, uh, using a platform like that to, uh, to disseminate a message uh, that it excludes people and targets people. It's a passerby. How does the sign exclude people and target people? It doesn't exclude anybody. It's, it's including the whites. Oh, man. Crazy. It's crazy stuff. Who saw the banner before police arrived who took it down. It's a, it's a statement that that being under being white is under there was an american flag there did he take down the american flag it's a, it's a statement that and a reason that being under Saw being that? white is under attack right now and it's just not true um being under being white took it down it's it right there there's a there's an american flag and a wreath ah that's expression you could do that but you can't take down you can't sit, put a sign up in a in a mostly white state that says it's okay to be white it's not okay it's a statement that that being under being white is under attack right now and it's just not true um it's not true <laughs> you just ripped down the sign it's not true how could you say listen to how stupid that was he says listen statement that that being under being white is under attack right now and it's just not true um you know that being white is such an advantage in the society and to suggest otherwise is just straight out racism Wow. Wow. Whites are so privileged that to, to, to say anything else is, is racism. Listen, being white is such an advantage in the society, and to suggest otherwise is just straight out racism. Freedom of speech, but questions about the legalities of hanging a sign over the mass pike. The ADL says the It's Okay to Be White campaign goes back two years, and it's a matter that must be addressed. So not commenting sends the wrong message. It's important for people not to be persuaded or attracted to a message like this because behind the words is bigotry. Behind the words is hate. They just can't see it that their actions are creating the hate. Uh, that's what it is. So let's see if there's anything more on this. All right, now we did talk to Newton Police late this morning about all this. They told us that they handle these incidents when people put signs up over these overpasses here on the Mass Pike. They handle them on a case-by-case -case basis. They say in this case, they would have urged the person to take the sign down, but by the time officers arrived here on the scene, it was already taken down. Uh, all right, so there's that. 
Now here's this clown right up in. Um, oh, and no, I didn't. I actually didn't um, reach out to this guy. But here's another one. Uh, Chancellor's statement on email messages uh, appears to be a black gentleman by by the name of Gary May, Chancellor of UC. So that's the University of California too. So all across the country, right? I didn't call California. Someone who is presumed pseudonym of John Smith has targeted facilities and students in our ethnic studies program with an email message repeating the message, it's okay to be white. The police have been notified and they are investigating. Whoever is out there thinking this is smart or fun to do needs to move on. You're not smart or funny. Your act is tiresome. Okay, is it tiresome or is it criminal? That's the question. Are they within their rights to be tiresome? All right. So when flyers, uh, so this is this is documenting an email. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, this is a not, a not a zero sum. This is not a zero sum game. All can be valued. All can be supported. All can be successful. <clears throat> all based on the statement that that uh, it's okay to be white. Right. What else? So now there's this guy in Connecticut. Uh, this was one of the better conversations. So watch, listen all the way through to the end where I get this guy on the phone and I really, he almost agreed with me that it was, it, it was actually racist to take the sign down in the, in the final analysis. Um, the president of a Connecticut university said hate flyers were randomly distributed throughout the campus on Thursday night. Western Connecticut State University President John Clark. I spoke to their uh, public relations people. You'll hear that conversation. Said he is shocked and saddened about the flyers and inscriptions found on the university property. The flyer had its, it's okay to be white written on them. Now, this guy actually put out a full statement, right? And again, making a police referral. I called the police department. They hung up on me. Or they rushed me off the phone. I, he's making the the argument. He's making the case that we should call the police if we have information. Your reports will be kept confidential and will be Im, Im, immensely helpful in the investigation. Now, police don't just investigate; they do criminal investigations. So this guy started a criminal investigation. Have no doubt that we are treating this as an attack on our university and making every effort to see those responsible or caught and properly punished. I am fully committed to the absolute necessary goal. This does not happen again. We must be vigilant to protect our university against hateful attacks. All right, so here he is, John B. Clark. I spoke to the university Oh, here's a picture of him, if you want to see him. So, uh, president, office of the president. Uh, so, so Marcus Conti reporting now that what you're going to see now is my conversations with three universities. The first one, I believe, is Tennessee and then Oklahoma University, State University, whatever. I'm paraphrasing. And the final one is these guys over here in Connecticut which was kind of, was, was rather interesting. So, so what's the summation? I mean, you know, I'm not going to comment at the end. So my final assessment obviously is that, uh, that white people are a treated worse now than a minority. And it seems that the lunatic left just can't get their arm around it, can't get their head around it. Or maybe they do. And it's just the, the, the pressure to be politically correct is so great that they refuse to change. So is it okay to be white? I mean, is it okay to be white? Uh, let's look at it one more time. Is it okay to be white? Is it okay to be white? I don't know. That's for you to decide. Give it a listen. Comment as you will. Marcus Conte reporting. Issue undergraduate admissions. Yes. Hi. Uh, good morning. I'm I'm interested in um, I'm just trying to find out a little about this uh, this very interesting breaking story in your neighborhood. I have some kids. They want to go to Tennessee, but uh, can you tell me anything about your uh, president, uh, Mr. Nolan? He was talking about this uh, 
It's okay to be white sign. Is this a, a, a tragedy of campus? Do you know anything about the story? Um, I do not. Let me get to the counselor. Maybe they will. All right, thanks. Thank you for your patience. Admissions, this is Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Uh, quick question. I have a uh, uh, an interest, actually, in your school. I've been to uh, Nashville a bunch of times. And I was wondering about this um, this issue of this uh, flyer on campus. It's breaking all over the news. It's okay to be white. Um, do you do you know anything about this uh, this this flyer thing? Is it uh, an issue on campus? Is it causing any distress that I uh, um, I should know? So about? Th that happened that happened this past weekend for for homecoming, and it was actually a coordinated effort among several different white supremacist groups across the country that did that to several different campuses. Um, it, I, I have not seen it have a major effect on campus. We have denounced it um, from the president's office on down, and uh, um, it, it is definitely something that our university is not representative of in any way. Right. He called your president called it. Uh, uh, so you're saying it's racist groups, but uh, isn't it? I mean, I, I don't know. Just logic says, isn't it fair to say uh, it's okay to be white? I mean, is I, that I, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I mean, is is it, just flip it for one second? Would it be okay to say it's okay to be black? Is it okay to be gay? Is it okay to be straight? Is it okay to be Muslim? Is it? I don't see, I, I, I just, my sense is that it might be an overreaction by a school and Mr. Nolan because what what is the crime? I, I'm not getting it. If you're saying that it's affiliated with these white supremacist organizations, which white supremacist organizations? And why wouldn't it be okay to just say uh, it's okay to be white? I mean, a lot of white people feel like they're being discriminated against, right? Um, I, I would disagree with that, but, um, could you give me one moment just for one second? Yeah, sure. On the web at www.etsu.edu. New Bucks, have you signed up for orientation? Hi, this is Heather Levesque. How are you? Hi, I'm, I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, Heather? I'm good. I, um, just was hanging out in my counselor's office and thought maybe I could Take your phone call and help you with what you needed. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, I have been to uh, Tennessee. I've been to Nashville many times. Um, I have a couple of college-age, you know, kids thinking about, you know, the place. It's a nice place. I like, I love, uh, I love Tennessee. And I'm just a little, cur a little concerned, uh, I must say, about uh, the, the president, uh, whoever he is, Mr. Nolan, Brian Nolan, uh, his his uh, denouncement of a sign um, rather than an inclusion kind of message saying, hey, this is, you know, it's okay to be white. Uh, he denounced it as something uh, def defamatory or discriminatory. But that's, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I mean... Okay, well, um, I think, you know, everyone is welcome to have their own thoughts and opinions about those types of matters. And... Um, He's our president and um, decided to just take a stance to, to make the campus aware of how he was feeling about that. So if if you want to talk to our university relations office or um, his office, I can definitely get you in contact with the appropriate people. Right, right. You know, I mean, calling them white supremacists, it's just, it seems, I mean, I, I said to the last person on the phone before uh, before they passed me to you is that, it just seems that uh, any group, uh, it's okay to be, it's okay to be gay, it's okay to be straight, it's okay to be black, it's okay to be Muslim, it's okay to be Christian, right? It's okay to be, right? And I just feel like, uh, you know, it, it, there is a movement that appears in this country uh, to, you know, denounce whiteness. To, you know, if you're white, then you must be have some sort of extra privilege. And I just don't want to have, uh, I wouldn't want anybody in my family to be associated with that sort of thinking. 
Okay. Well, is there anything else I can do for you today? Would you like to talk to someone in our university relations office or our president's office? Yeah, sure. Pass me to your president's office. I don't expect that I will get through, but okay. Okay. Hold on one second. Thank you for your patience. President's office, may I help you? Good morning, Miss. Uh, calling. I don't. Uh, is there any possibility of speaking to Mr. Nolan, Mr. Brian Nolan, President? Uh, well, uh, Dr. Nolan just walked out of the office, but yeah. our chief of staff is in the office. May I put you through to him? Yeah, sure. I'll talk to him. Sure. Thank you. Okay, just a moment. Thank you for your patience. Good morning. This is Adam. May I help you? Hey, good morning, Adam. Uh, qu a couple of questions. I, I've been uh, getting panned around by very nice people so far, and they uh, recommended that I speak to someone in the president's office about this this uh, this uh, piece of paper that was posted around the campus. It's okay to be white, and I'm just a little I'm a little concerned. Uh, maybe not in the way that you would think, but I'm concerned that. Uh, for university that, uh, I again, I love Nashville, I love Tennessee, I've been there many times. I have college-age uh, kids that, uh, that I had said, you know, you, you got to check out Nashville, you'll love it. And, um, you know, or Tennessee, wherever you guys are. And I, I'm curious, you know, what is your, what is your take that uh, this is, you know, is this a uh, an inclusive school where you can be white, you can be black, you can be anything you want to be, or is it uh, safe to say you can't be? It's defamatory to be okay to be white. So I, I'm sorry, I don't even know who I'm speaking with. My name, I'm just my name is Marcus. So I'm just a guy. You know, I have some kids that want to go to your school. Nobody, nobody special, nobody that important. Just a just a person who saw this. You know this breaking news, and I'm I'm curious about you know what, why why it would be considered defamatory, or discriminatory, according to your uh, your your president. Why is it why is it discriminatory to put up something that says I'm it's okay to be white? That's all. Well, sure. I think that the best person for you to speak with is our vice president of equity and inclusion, Dr. Keith Johnson. All right. Um, and well, so what's what your opinion now that you're on the phone? You're in the so, president's office. I certainly can transfer you to Dr. Johnson if you hold just one moment. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sir, can I get your telephone number and I'll have um, Dr. Johnson call you back? Uh, that's okay. I'll try. I guess I'll try again later on. Doc, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Keith Johnson. Dr. Keith Johnson. All right. I'll, I'll try. Why? Well, he's very busy right now. I can't take, can't get the phone. Can't get to the phone? Uh, I, I, that is correct. He's not available right now. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for your I, time. I certainly can have him call you back, Marcus, if you could give me your phone number. That's all right. Thank you. Oklahoma City University School of Law. This is Beth. May I help you? Yes. Good morning, Beth. One more time. Uh, I just got panned into a voicemail. I just have a quick question. Uh, maybe you could help me. Um, just looking for someone to talk about this issue of uh, diversity and inclusion in Oklahoma City. Uh, I, I'm oh, I transferred you. Did she not pick up? Because I had to, I no. asked my boss who that would be, and she told me, and then I transferred you. No, I, I just so you, got, she didn't pick up. No, I just got a voicemail. You're, you're uh, okay. You're, I can transfer you to my boss, who um, perhaps I per myself cannot address anything like that, but okay. she probably could. Ah, uh, thanks. I appreciate that. You're welcome. One moment. Dean's office, this is Cheryl. Hi, good morning, Cheryl. Uh, name is Marcus. Uh, I am a fan of your school. And uh -huh. um, I, I'm, just, I'm just curious. I, I'm, walk, I'm, lo I'm looking here. I'm in New York, and I'm looking. And I'm seeing all this crazy news about uh, this sign, this sign that has caused all these problems of uh, it's okay to be white. It's okay to be white, and I'm just curious what the I see the school going crazy, point to the police, calling it a hate crime. What's what's the uh, what's the deal over there? What's going on? Well, um, actually, I'm very limited at what I can say, but um, <laughs> I, I I can take your name and number and have the dean call you, but I I'm not gonna. 
Would you like me to do that? I'd be happy to. Well, you're the assistant to the dean. I'm just asking a simple question. What, you know, before I put a big X across your uh, campus's name to send my kids, I'm just curious, what's the deal over there? I mean, is it is it a good thing? Is it okay to be white? Is it okay to be black? Is it okay to be, you know, Chinese? Well, actually, I will, the dean sent out a statement to students immediately following the yeah. incident that happened Friday morning. And his message to our students is, yes, it's okay to be white. It's okay to be whatever you are. It's, o it's okay whatever you are in your life. It's okay. We so, do not. Yeah. So, so, why, so, why, that, so why, why, okay. treat it, why treat it like a crime? Well, what, all I will say about that is um, the media has had a huge role in this. Um, we have not treated it as a crime here at the law school. Um, so the media has, the dean made no official statement to the media. The media has decided to make it what they want to make it. So It says that, yeah. um, it says to contact the police director uh, if you have any information about this person who apparently put up a sign called saying it's okay to be white. Now that's your law school saying that. That is your, that is your school saying to the police, opening up a police investigation. That's pretty heavy. I mean, to me, that's pretty heavy. That doesn't sound like a, a place of open thought and open ideas. It sounds like a place of, it's not okay to be white. Um. So where are you finding this information? Where, where are you reading this from? The Oklahomian, your newspaper in your town, The Oklahomian, uh, published yeah. uh, two days ago, three days ago. And police mm -hmm. searching for person who left flyers at OCU Law. Uh, mm -hmm. so apparently it was stuck on the side of a Coke machine or something or whatever. But why, I mean, the police don't just go ahead, go ahead and investigate unless someone is saying that, there's a, that a crime may have occurred. Now, where, where's, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm missing something, right? Am I missing something as a white person? Am I missing something that, that someone puts up a sign to voice their First Amendment rights of free speech and freedom of the press and all that stuff, all that good stuff that the country's founded on? Mm -hmm. And I, I uh, 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 but uh, there's, a, there's a, a criminal investigation into who may have put up this sign. That's, that's troubling to me. Okay. Would you like me to take your name and number and have someone contact you? <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, 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 I don't mean to put you on the spot. I'm just trying to get, I want to find out what the hell's going on up there, you know, or down there. And, and I, I appreciate that. And I'd be ha I, that's what I'm offering. I'd be happy to have someone contact you and let you know what's going on. All but, right. Um, All right. That'll be okay. I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to stick with the uh, media and I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll just follow the story in the, in the, in the press and see if I can make a decision from there. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Western Connecticut University Police. Good morning. Calling to find out a little bit about this uh, this heinous crime that may have occurred on campus with the uh, "It's okay to be white" sign. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have some kids, so, you know, I'm from New York, thinking about sending some kids to the uh, good school. Uh, I'm, I'm going to cut you off right there. Any questions or concerns, you can go to our public relations officer, which is Paul Steinman. You call the admitting office and get connected to Paul Steinman's, okay? Have a wonderful day. Good morning, Western Admissions. How can I help you? Yes. Good morning. Is there any chance of uh, speaking to someone in uh, John Clark's office, Dr. John Clark's office, or or maybe sure. John Clark himself? Let me send you. I can send you the president's office. It won't go right through to him, but it can go to his secretary. All right. Thank you. Sure. Give me one second to pull up the number. I'll transfer right over. Thank you. All right. Transfer you now. Okay. Thank you. Morning, President's office. Good morning. Uh, I, I have a quick question. I have some uh, college-age kids and uh, a little concerned. I'm seeing this story break across the uh, country about Western Connecticut 
uh, State University's uh, tearing down a sign about uh, white people. Yeah. It's okay to be white. All right, so well, is it there's a little more, more to it, but let me give you the appropriate person to speak to. Could you hold on one moment, and I'll transfer you? Okay, yeah, 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 you. yeah. Okay, okay. So please hold on. All right, thank you. Hi, this is Paul Steinmetz. Hey, Paul. Hello. Hi, how Hi. are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, I have a, a couple of questions, just a uh, yes. some pedestrian questions about uh, this sign. Um, it's okay to be white. Uh, I, I'm curious. the the good um, The good chancellor or president of your of your uh, uh, school is saying it's sick and outrageous behavior uh, that there will be punishment for putting up a sign in his message. Uh, Am I am I am I right to say it's okay to be white if I you know if I send my kids there? Yeah, what well, we should have we made a mistake with that original message. We should have uh, actually we didn't even list that it was the sign that it was okay to be white. We should have said there were two flyers. It's okay to be white. Islam is and Islam is right about women and a. Um, flag was posted or taped to a window in our classroom building that the FBI identifies as um, being associated with hate groups. Mm. So, and that would have put it in more context, I think. You know, the um, uh, and in my research that I've done over a lot yesterday, uh, a lot of these alt-white groups who are not uh, neutral are, um, uh, you know, lead with it's okay to be white but their message really is not um neutral it's in which everybody accepts it's okay to be white it's okay to be other colors etc uh but their message isn't really that if we had seen that poster somebody would have put it in the trash or left it up and nobody would have paid any attention it was really the other things that came with it that um indicated to the fbi as they told us, that this is a um, a different kind of message, not a neutral message. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, the 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 uh, the Muslim slur aside about women, but the uh, the issue of white, I, I I fail to see the. I see your I see your point about a, a an effort by an organized kind of you know uh, organization, but I I fail to see the I fail to see what you're saying about the content of what was in there. For me, it just seems like you know, First Amendment free speech, rather than rather than treat it like a hate crime. Why not embrace it and say, "Yeah, you're right. It is okay to be white. Let's uh, yeah. let's get some let's get some blacks and some gays and some others, I guess, other than white. I don't know uh, to to say, "Yeah, you know what? I think you're right that it is okay to be white." But it seems yeah. like it seems like the chancellor went the opposite way. And uh, as a lot of a lot of the presidents across the country and other other universities, at least what I'm reading in in down south, Oklahoma and Tennessee, same stuff. They're uh, they, they, yeah. they're getting all they're all, they're getting all you know tied in a knot about this. Uh, well, I, I that's because it is a concerted effort across the country by these groups. That, what uh, groups do you have any? Do you have any specific groups, or it's just the? Is it the, the, the people who voted for Trump? Is that a group? No, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, it's a, uh, as far as I can tell, a loose network. And I've heard from a lot of them all across the country. They communicate. People communicate. Have been communicating, and I don't think there's, uh, you know, um, a named cell. They collectively refer to themselves as alt right, and. Um, uh, have prepared this um, uh, mission, but um, ha consciously go out and and uh, are trying to upset liberals, as they call them, and colleges, uh, and uh, get them. Um, they they enjoy upsetting. People. So they're, uh, they lead with an innocuous uh, phrase like, it's okay to be white, and then they back it up with, um, there are things that you can see on the internet, uh, and sometimes on the deep web, where I have not gone, but I've read some FBI reports, that um, 
you know, they're virulent. They hate everybody except themselves. And on a college campus, as you, I'm sure, accept, you know, we're trying to get everybody together so they can talk and learn and uh, put the hatred outside or, you know, deal with the hatred that comes in maybe. But um, we're, we don't promote hate here. We try to promote unity and getting people to talk to each other. Right, right. Yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, I, I don't uh, I don't even know what to say to that. I think that that it is uh, – you sound like a smart guy. You sound like a psychiatrist, psychologist of some sort or a diversity guy. <laughs> what's your What's uh, your position at the school? You're just a guy who answers the phone? I run the public relations office. Yeah, oh, you're, you're no. public relations. I, I see. Yeah. I see. Well, so I, I've been know, working with, you know, with everybody on campus about this and all the other issues. Right, right. I, I mean, I don't even have a a, a a zinger for you. I just think that it it does it, it does put up a red flag where it does, yes. It, you know, because I agree with we that. we are we are in in troubled times where there are. I mean, you may have you may have heard that there are white people in this country that do feel like of late that they are being discriminated against, mainly yeah. perhaps yeah. because they voted a certain way or because they. Yep. They uh, are proud because they are uh, they they feel like they're I, I don't know they were here first or whatever whatever the reason is um, expressing their First Amendment rights about uh, about their identity. I don't think that's any different. I think it's actually quite less when you consider the degrees to which minority groups go to make their voice heard, like Black Lives Matter. Yep. So the, um, we have a conundrum us, here. <laughs> yeah. What gets us going is the um, uh, not the expression of, um, of uh, you know, identity uh, being um, proud, not the expression of um, being proud about your identity. It's the uh, message behind that that is implied by this flag, which is based on a Nazi battle flag. And um, uh, the what you see on the web about these groups, these alt-right groups that um, not only are pr pr proud of their identity, but hate everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, I'm being a, a little bit hyperbolic there, but uh, when I say hate everybody else, but there's a lot of anger and hatred in their messaging. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there's, there's certainly a loud. I mean, I, I don't have any yeah, hate in my yeah, heart. Right. I, I don't have, you know, I live in diverse New York City, and yeah. all my friends are all different color, shapes, and sizes, and none, none yeah. of that matters to me. But I do, I do know some people that have a certain sense of pride, whether yeah. it's being black, whether it's being Hispanic. I mean, we have Hispanic Day parades in in New York. We have. Yeah. Know. You know, black pride marches, but to put up a and they sign. Do have the right, all of, everybody has the right to the, talk about that too. You're right; it's a right. free speech and, and, issue. And to put up a sign that it's okay to be white, and then have a a uh, a criminal prosecution in the, with the Danbury Police, and saying that there's going to be punishment for putting up this particular sign, even if it is affiliated with other flags, who cares? Really, a neo-Nazi mm -hmm. flag is a, is a is a symbol that. That uh, invoking of violence, are, are we that stupid to believe that that would, that would work? Uh, or, you know, a, 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 I mean, that, the other line about the woman, you know, uh, women, Muslims have women's position in life correct. I mean, that's almost like a joke. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you said that on, on late night television, it would be a joke, you know. And where, where, do we, where do we draw the line on free speech is what I'm, what I'm getting at. I, I don't I, – I think, I think that what's going to probably happen is your university is going to come to, lo, come to reason and realize that they overreacted. I, I'm hoping that. But mm -hmm. for now, your Mr. John Clark is, is on the record saying he's, uh, he's, he's making criminal referrals and criminal prosecution and, and they will be punished. I am fully committed to the absolute necessary goal. This does not happen again. It's pretty heavy. That's pretty yeah. heavy stuff, you know. Yes, it is. And he's speaking mostly to students, not to the really. The, although he knew it would get be in the outside community, he was reassuring students that, uh, 
you know, we're a multi we're going to remain a multicultural place where um, students can learn without being harassed and that kind of thing. That's what his message was to students. Um, but if you're if you're if you're starting off by saying that the people that you disagree with are criminals, uh, yeah, that's really that's really not a, a good <laughs> a good place to negotiate. That's not a good way to reach out your hand to the other side and and call them criminals and then and then stroke the people on the mm. I guess what you're calling the left and saying yeah. oh you guys are right and you're you're what we represent we we stand with you those other I, rights are bad I, that's the I message I agree with you about that actually that and is I'm the part message of the thing, you know where we go forward with future messaging that's part of the message I'm going to uh, take to yeah. unfortunately I got a mess I got a meeting right now with the president and some of our vice presidents so Sorry, it was go. excellent excellent talking to you I really appreciate yeah. your time nope thanks a lot thank you for your time Bye -bye.